Hi guys, welcome to the Power DSP lessons. In the next couple of lessons, you are going to see some more terms which are frequently used in ADC. The first one is the dynamic range and the next one is the SNR, that is signal to noise ratio. Let's start with the dynamic range in this part. Dynamic range is the ratio of largest to smallest measurable amplitudes. The largest amplitude is the loudest one and the smallest amplitude is the quietest one. So we can also say the dynamic range is nothing but the difference between the loudest and quietest part of the signal. Usually it is given in dB and the equation to find out the dynamic range is 20 log of largest amplitude divided by smallest amplitude. Let's take a 3-bit quantizer and see what is the largest and smallest amplitudes are. The largest amplitude magnitude here is 1 volt and the smallest amplitude magnitude is 0.125 volt. 0.125 is the smallest detectable voltage by the ADC, below which it is rounded to 0. The largest and smallest magnitudes are also given in terms of step size. The largest magnitude is 4 here and the minimum magnitude is 1 by 2. We can generalize this. The largest amplitude is 2 power n minus 1 and the smallest amplitude is 1 by 2. Dividing these two, we get 2 power n. Here, we find out the dynamic range in dB. So, 20 log 2 power n is equal to 20 n log 2. After substituting the value of log 2, we get dynamic range as 6.02 n. N is the number of bits, that is bit depth. Based on the value of N, the dynamic range will change. So the dynamic range is the other way to see the impact of the bit depth. Choosing the lower bit depth limits the dynamic range and allowing higher bit depths increase the dynamic range. This table gives the dynamic range for various bit depth values. A bit depth of 8 gives a dynamic range of approximately 48 dB. A bit depth of 16 gives a dynamic range of about 96 dB and so forth. Let's see what is the dynamic range for human beings. The quietest sound that the human ear can hear is just above 0 dB SPL. So the threshold of hearing is approximately 0 dB SPL. The threshold of pain that is the loudest sound that human can hear is around 120 dB SPL. The dynamic range is therefore the difference between these loudest and quietest sound levels and it is equal to 120 dB. Even though the human ear can handle a sound as loud as 120 dB SPL, practically speaking, if we expose to 120 dB SPL level for some time, our ear will damage. So generally, we can listen comfortably up to about 85 dB SPL. The dynamic range is then 85 dB SPL minus 0 dB SPL that is equal to 85 dB. So bit depth of 16 is enough to meet this dynamic range. In the above calculations, we haven't considered the noises such as ambient noise, system noise. If we consider these noises, the dynamic range will still reduce. For example, the normal and average listening environmental noise is around 50 dB SPL. The dynamic range in such case is only 35 dB. It doesn't mean that we can reduce the bit depth to meet this dynamic range. We have to stick to the bit depth of 16 to cover the human practical dynamic range of 85 dB. Sometime, we may go for 24 bits or even 32 bits because we don't know how loud the signal that we are working with. Even if we know the highest level of the signal which requires only 16 bits, we may go for 24 or 32 bits for internal processing that we do on the signal to get a higher quality output. Okay, this is all about dynamic range. We will see what is SNR and how it is useful in the next lesson. Meet you in that lesson. Until then, bye bye.